Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store. And uh, this is the uh, Deliverance episode, part five. And as again, I just uh, talked about the first two albums, that the self-titled and Weapons of Our Warfare. This one uh, originally was released in 91 with a different cover. It was a group shot in a uh, L.A. overpass, like the L.A. pedestrian bridge overpass, if uh, you, know, you city dwellers are from, probably familiar with. Um, it's, uh, again, slightly different. It's an inside joke because they had, like, Happy Star and a Coke was one of the... Uh, like those short, sweet joke tracks. So I guess they decided to make the cover of a fast food meal. So this is the Happy Meal Edition. What a joke. Um, there's been, I think all in all, it's a good, you know, it's a good thrash album, a good speed thrash album. But uh, I mean, there, there were a lot of people that said that they didn't like it. I mean, they, I've even actually heard that you know, What a Joke was a good title for it because they thought the album was a joke. But, I mean, all in all, I like it. I mean, and, uh, like, some of the short short songs, it's nothing that hasn't been done by thrash metal bands before, and which was part of the punk influence. Some of them were redos from the old, like, uh, Greetings of Death demo. Um, on his uh, re-bank, revamped Sabbath track. Silent Night, a metal version of a Christmas song. J.I.G., Jesus is God. And they did a re-record of Attack, which is on the uh, California metal. You know, um, again, not bad. But, I mean, I think about about the time when, when this album came out, I mean, really the, the, the heyday of thrash was really starting to wind down. Even though, you know, at the time I was too stubborn to admit it because it was, you know, that was my band and, uh, but they I mean they definitely held their 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 edge. And uh, after this, after that one came uh, "Stay of Execution." I I don't have that CD yet, but uh, I have this one that came out in '93. It was the Intense Presents uh, Live Edition. Again, I just got it for the sake of collecting. Again, it's nothing I haven't heard before. There's no. New ramp, new uh, revamp version. This is, I mean, exactly the same I got now as what was would be in the Christian bookstores back then. Again, I just got it because I'm a fan and I love those raw sessions anyway. Um, and that's that. And shortly after that, Learn, the gray album. Actually, I bought this second hand. No, no, I did. I bought it still sealed. Excuse me. It cost me twenty-five dollars, still sealed. Cause like you know, when it gets more collectible and more rare, it goes up in price. But I'm just glad it stayed under thirty dollars, because it does hurt the wallet every now and then. Um, I can't really say much of this. Just more. They tend to. They're going more in the progressive metal direction. And then after that came this one. Uh, Ten, of course, you, know, you probably saw the cassette of that in of in the other Deliverance episode, because you know they started from eight at the time. You know when this came out, this was they started in '85. It was 1995 when this came out, so it was ten years for them. Um, there's there's not even like um, extra bonus tracks or previously unreleased. All they did was just you know snatch a couple tracks from. You know their previous six albums, and then stick it on here. And uh, silly fans that we didn't know any better would just buy it anyway, cause it's Deliverance. Yeah, that's why I got it. Yeah. And uh, I'm just gonna cut it off he here. And uh, but uh, again, it's not a bad album, but I think Deliverance is really going through an artistic transition period. And also, you know, the music the music scene was really changing drastically. I mean, and, and I mean, trying to be a, a metal band during the uh, alternative era, grunge era, when these came out, I mean, it was it was a pretty uh, a pretty hard fight because you weren't hip anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching Joe's Record Store, and I'll stop here. <laughs>